Hey guys, this is Todd from the Bible Study Channel, and I'm just laying in bed here uh, going over Isaiah 53, which is my, my, current, my current chapter that I'm memorizing. And the verse that I'm memorizing today is verse 7 here. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before her shearers is dumb, so he openeth not his mouth. And I was just, I was just repeating that verse in my mind. I was reading it and then setting the Bible down and repeating it and thinking about it. And I started to think, when we are oppressed and afflicted, when we're oppressed and afflicted in our lives, what is our first reaction, our natural response? What rises up in us? Yeah, to, to fight back, to push back. And we see that as a, as a justified reaction, as the right reaction to fight oppression, to fight our oppression and to fight our affliction. We speak up, we open our mouths, we demand our rights, we demand to be treated justly and fairly, and with all the rights that we believe that we have, that we should enjoy in this life. But that's not how Christ, that's not how Christ lived, that's not how Christ responded to the oppression and the affliction that he faced. He opened not his mouth. He didn't fight back. And even beyond oppression and affliction or persecution, he, with him it went so far as to be brought like a lamb to the slaughter. So, seeing as how we are to walk even as he walked, and as how, how we're told to let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Well then, this, this passage, Isaiah 53 verse 7, is quite impactful and quite meaningful for us. If we would be true followers of Christ, will we in the face of oppression and affliction open not our mouth? Will we be thankful if we suffer persecution and endure trials for his namesake? something to think about. God bless you and amen.